everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew and Zach Again. from Cavalry Coasters. We're back at Disneyland and uh, the, literally the next, what, the second time in 48 hours or so. We're pretty much in front of Pixie Hollow right now. Matterhorn is just on our right. And we just got a look at Aladdin, a preview with a lot of the props, the costumes, as well as a, I think of what, a seven minute uh, preview video of the movie. So um, we did see a couple things in the trailer slash sneak peek, sneak preview, I guess is what they called it, right? That's what was Will Smith said. But uh, the props look fantastic. The costumes are beautiful. Um, we did see the magic carpet, the lamp, as well as Aladdin and Jasmine's costumes, or at least some of their costumes. Uh, it looked like the Prince Ali get up for Aladdin specifically. But with the preview itself, we started out with pretty much how Aladdin and Jasmine meet. And um, I can't remember the song name at the moment, but Aladdin running away from the, pretty much the authority that is trying to get him for stealing. Um, and the song arrangement was okay, not my favorite. Yeah, it, was, um, it was okay. It was right. um, but besides that, uh, I think the sets are gorgeous. The costumes are even better. Um, but one thing I'm not too particularly hot about is um, the cinematography is a little weird to me. There would be in some spots where Aladdin would be singing the same pace while it's going slower in motion. So like it would go from let's say, you know, moving this quick and speaking like I am now to moving this quick and speaking like I am now. So it just didn't, it didn't really make too much sense to me. And it kind of looked a little off when they were singing at the same pace and the same tempo while they're moving a lot slower. Cause it was like slow motion a little bit. Um, but besides that, we did see a little preview of Will Smith coming out of the lamp and I thought it was a little comedic. It's gonna be really yeah. weird to get used to Will Smith as the genie, but um, it wasn't bad per se. Uh, but it, it makes me a little more intrigued for the movie just to see where they could take it in, you know, multiple different directions and to see which one they take. I, I mean, it, it should be really interesting to see when it comes out what people think of the movie as its whole. We only saw about seven minutes, so we can't really tell you too much about what we think. I mean, one thing that was a little weird was Jasmine and Aladdin have complete American accents where everybody else has at least you know, a Middle Eastern accent of some sort. So that was a little off-putting. So, well, Will Smith, of course, but Will Smith's not gonna do an accent, let's be real. Because <laughs> he's Will Smith. But um, that was a little off-putting, but besides that, I, I think it looks gorgeous. I just, I'm still very skeptical, because uh, I really grew up with the original Aladdin, and it's gonna be weird to get used to, but we'll see what happens. I mean, they did a great job with Beauty and the Beast, and Cinderella, I heard, was pretty decent as well. Yeah, I've seen some of the I, I have not seen it, so um, as long as, I mean, you, you thought it was okay, at least. Yeah, it was alright. Okay, but I've never really been a big fan of Cinderella anyways, but now we're gonna go look at the Matterhorn real quick and then do a couple different things. I don't even know. Yeah, we kind I of mean, showed up. Yeah, we just showed up again. Park closes but, at midnight. I'm looking forward to pizza port, so. Yes, we will probably get pizza port for dinner, but it is about, what, 5.15 or so? Yeah, it's, it's so, so But let's get on with our day, shall we? So after speaking about a Disney movie that is coming out in the future, why not talk about a movie that came out just in this past couple months? Dumbo, did you see it? What'd you think? Let me know. I still haven't seen it yet, so I want to. So I think somebody messed with the sign for Peter Pan's flight because it says the wait time is three minutes. Yeah, I, I don't think it's three, three minutes. Doubt it. But looking at this, it's pretty impressive, honestly. It looks really, really nice in person. I still haven't seen it in person yet, so it's really cool to see the backside of the castle or technically the front. I'll cover it up. So after getting quite the lengthy look at the Matterhorn, just cause we're probably gonna brave the about 40 to 45 minute wait for Thunder Mountain. And if you didn't know, this is probably my favorite mountain, at least on most days. Some days I would argue Splash Mountain, but um, 
This thing is just wonderful to me. So it's definitely a busy day here. It is a Tuesday, but we are in the extended queue for Big Thunder Mountain. Whew. Galaxy's Edge. Here we go, finally made it. I think we waited about 30 minutes or so. So not too bad. So we just got off of Big Thunder Mountain. Great as always in row 11. So a little bit uh, more airtime than usual, I would say, at least in the middle, or compared to the middle and the front. But we got an even better look at Galaxy's Edge. Holy crap. That, it just looks immaculate. I. I am so excited after seeing that in person. Uh, and if you didn't know, I mean, it opens next month. We're a little over a month away from the opening of Galaxy's Edge, and that's gonna be insane. I mean, this park is already crowded, and I'm just imagining twice the crowds at least. But Thunder was great as always, and seeing that view of Galaxy's Edge made that wait, which is about 42 minutes, I think, was the final count, worth it. We figured on our way to dinner, which will be at Pizza Port slash Pizza Planet technically still, we'd check out one of the entrances to Galaxy's Edge, which it still looks incredible, but I can't wait for these walls to go down. I'm so unbelievably excited and I can't wait to get here. Now we're still debating whether to go to opening day or not because they did release the fact that we can reserve starting on May 2nd, we can try and reserve between May 31st and June 23rd. So we will definitely try and reserve through there, but we definitely wanna try and get to opening day as well. So we might end up buying a hotel stay for the night to make sure we can get to opening day, but we will just have to wait and see. And I mean, if we do that, maybe we'll get two reservations and get to visit the, the land twice, which would be incredible, but we'll just have to wait and see for that because we're still debating whether to pay the probably around $300 each to stay at a hotel for that night. So we tried to get to Pizza Port from Thunder Mountain. We took the Big Thunder Ranch way uh, and we ran into the Soundstational Parade. Now, to, you know, to intervene with trying to get through that, you have to go past the teacups and past Matterhorn. And there's usually a little block you can walk through right there at specific times during the parade. But, the way that they ended up handling it today, they made us walk towards Small World, and now we're trapped at Small World. I'm so confused. Um, so yeah, now we've walked all the way to Small World. We're next to the Toontown train station, but that's got an insane wait for the train. We just want to get to Tomorrowland. Like, how hard is that? So... But uh, one thing I want to let you guys know is that when you're coming to a Disney park, you got to make sure you're patient. Uh, I, it's just, it's something you need to learn at the parks. And I feel like a lot of people just don't, if that makes sense. We actually had a guy, we had a stroller parallel in front of us, and he totally was like physically shoving us out of the way. Um, so it's like, really? You're not going to get through this any quicker, you know? So patience like is... traffic, it's not... Exactly. I mean, like... It's for traffic, are you going to literally crash into someone and push them out of the way that way? You know? So it's just it's just a little interesting to me. Patience is definitely the number one thing you need at these parks, though. Especially with Galaxy's Edge opening up in the, the near future. But, yeah, so we're kind of stuck. Do we take the train? Which looks like it, it looks like it has like a 30-minute wait for the train. Or do we just wait for the parade to be done and sprint that way? Disney. Well, we finally made it to Pizza Planet slash Pizza Port, whatever you'd like to call it. And I'm honestly kind of hangry at this point. It took us 25 minutes to get over here from Thunder Mountain. <sighs> All right, let's calm down. Let's eat our chicken facility. Let's do this. All right, finally, that was a nightmare. Oh, took us another 25 minutes to get food. Um. 
So I, I think we just hit the, the dinner rush, honestly. But there's like no seats taken out out here because we like the outdoor seating for Pizza Fort or Pizza Planet. I can't call it Pizza Planet. I feel weird. But let's dig in. Also, one thing I wanted to mention real quick: paper straws of the resort, and it looks like there are new lens. They're very like thin compared to the original lids that used to be here. I'm wondering if they're actually not plastic and if they're maybe like rice based or something along those lines, but definitely paper. Whoa. Definitely paper straws though, just to let you know. Whew. So I just finished my chicken facility. Also, I got the breadsticks, which are actually pretty good. I don't know, kind of remind me of Olive Garden, I guess, but I don't know if five bucks is worth the money for two. Oh, if it was like eight. three, it'd be fine. It's not eight dollars. It's like 5.49, I think. But um, we're looking at Space Mountain Q. It's coming up on two hours, and you can tell because there are people literally lining all the way down. It is insane. Honestly, this is the busiest day I've seen in person in quite a while, and it's a random Tuesday in April. And of course, right as we got out of eating, Space Mountain broke down and everyone has come out. We've made it to our final destination of the night, Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's do it. All right, so now we've made it out of the park because we were actually on our way out after riding Pirates of the Caribbean. That was probably the longest wait we've ever had for the ride itself. Um, and I mean, it wasn't bad at all. I found it funny though, right before we got on, Zach's like, I've never been in the first row. What row did we get? First row. So I made sure Zach sat left so he'd get a little more wet than I. But it was uh, just my butt. It was just your butt, yeah, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah, it just kind of spills over and leaks into. Oh yeah, it slowly leaked over and I was like, I can't. All yeah. Right, this is <laughs> and then you sit up and you're like, oh, that's cold. But yeah, so we're actually heading out now, uh, right before the fireworks. So um, it was just about to get insane. Fantasmic was about to start about five minutes after we got off. But I mean, we got a lot more done than I was expecting. And we only rode two things. So I will take it. But it's been kind of a frustrating day, honestly. Um, just with how busy it is. This is definitely the busiest day I've seen in a very, very long time. And I've been coming here for years. I think the last time I saw it this busy was near the opening of uh, Radiator Springs with Cars Land. So we'll just have to wait and see for what, you know, Star Wars Land is gonna look like, you know, Galaxy's Edge Batuu, technically. But it's just a really big question mark for me right now, to be honest. I'm just wondering how many people are actually willing to spend 150 bucks to get in, you know? But we'll just have to wait and see for that. Well, we're walking by Pop-Up Disney real quick instead of taking the tram because we're not that lazy. It looks like uh, Pop-Up Disney will be opening April 26th, which is right around the corner. Um, and here's just a quick look inside. It looks pretty cool, honestly. I like this as a real tale store. Oh, look at that Spirit jersey. That's pretty cool. Um, but. Yeah, this used to be ESPN Zone, and it's cool to see something finally taking this place after a very long time. And of course, the legal disputes between Anaheim and Disney itself. But, uh, oh, look at this. We got some pop figures over here to fit up with Pop Up Disney. I like that a lot. So, um, it's really cool to see all this filled up, though. Can't wait to actually get a look inside very, very soon. Also, one thing I just noticed as we were about to walk away. They have hats. Mickey ears specifically from each 
parks opening. That's pretty impressive if you can get a look at those like Shanghai, Hong Kong, uh, Paris, Tokyo, and then of course Walt Disney World and Disneyland itself. That's pretty cool. All right, we've made it back to the parking structure and that will have to do it for today. Um, fireworks should be going off in the next 40 minutes or so and Fantasmic should be just finishing up about now. It's almost nine o'clock. So, uh, pretty hectic day to say the least. Honestly, one of the most hectic I've had and that just had to do with the crowds. Uh, there was tons of people here, tons of people. And I mean, we came on Saturday, which was just a couple days ago and it was empty. Sure, it was after the fireworks, but a lot of that has to do with what passes are allowed in. So we have signature passes, so we can get in on Saturdays where every other pass cannot underneath signature. So that's a main reason why it was so empty on Saturday in comparison to today, which is Tuesday. And it was insanely busy. But I mean, we got a great view of Galaxy's Edge. We got a ride on Pirates as well as Thunder. And we had some chicken facility, which was pretty much the whole reason he wanted to come tonight. Yeah. So uh, it was pretty good and well, we're getting lost. Um, but besides that, I mean, it's just gonna get crazier and crazier here. And I can't wait to see the new parking structure open very soon. I think they're finishing up painting inside. At least that's what it sounds like. But uh, it should be a crazy couple months for the Disneyland Resort. It's gonna be like just the most insane thing we've ever seen, to be completely honest. It, it, I have no words for it, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Zach's channel if you can. And of course, as always, we'll see you on the next ride.